Hey guys, welcome to this channel. This is Abhishek Mamadi. In this video, we will see how to build machine learning pipelines in PySpark using Spark.ml. Here are the contents of this video. In this video, we will see how to set up the environment, how to read data, how to build models without pipelines. And I have also created a video on this. You can check out my previous video. And then we will leverage Spark ML pipelines to build Spark ML workflows. Awesome. Let's get started by setting up the PySpark environment. I have created a video on this already. Or else you can directly use the below cell to install all the required libraries and files. Here are the high level libraries that I am downloading to set up the PySpark environment. First of all, you have to install Java and then you have to download Apache Spark binary and then unzip the file. And this, this version can change. So now based on the updated version, you can go to this link and see which version you want to download. And then you have to, you can install find Spark and PySpark and later add these parts to the environment variables. Awesome. Once that is done, I mean, PineSpark will locate Spark in your system. Let me run this. This might take a while. Let me initialize Spark session as well. Let me run this. And once this is done, we will have Spark session object. Awesome. Now we have the Spark session object. Now let's read the data. Here I am reading wine quality red data set and I am directly uh, downloading it from the UCI and saving it in sample data folder. Let me run this. And you can directly read using spark.read and I am passing uh, different options like header equal to true and info schema equal to true and the delimiter, right? And directly pass the file path where I have saved in sample data folder. Let me run this. And in spark underscore df, you will have the data frame. We have features like fixed acidity, volatile acidity, etc. And then we also have quality, right? Let's see the distinct values in the quality. Awesome, the quality is ranging from 3 to 8. Okay, let's go into the main topic. So what are pipelines, right? So these are the main concepts in pipelines. And I have directly taken from the documentation. You can also go through this. But at a high level, so we have two different things. One is transformer and estimator. So transformer is something which is used to transform the existing data frame to in an updated data frame. An estimator is an algorithm which can be fit on a data frame to produce a transformer. You using estimator, you can build a model, right? But in transformer, you will not build a model. You are just transforming the data frame. But in estimator, you will build a model. And using that model, you will transform the input to the output data frame. And pipeline is something which chains multiple transformers and estimators together to specify an ML workflow. So using this pipeline, you can create a ML workflow. Awesome. Before going to this, uh, I highly recommend you to watch my previous video. So um, it will help you to understand how to do pre-processing, modeling and predictions without using pipelines. Right. And below is the code that I have provided. And this is something which I have used in my previous video. So let's go through this uh, so that we will know the importance of pipelines. Let me start by uh, importing the necessary functions like string indexer, one hot encoder, vector assembler is used to create vector from the specified features. And then I am using decision tree classifier, which is one of the model that is provided by PySpark.ml. Okay, so first of all, what I'm doing is we have spark underscore df data frame, right? So I am creating for explanation purposes, I am creating a alcohol uh, feature, which is a categorical feature because in the existing features, we don't have a categorical feature. So if alcohol is greater than 10.5, I am keeping it as high. Otherwise it is low. Let me run this. And then I am using, okay. Uh, I have to run this and then run this. Once this is done, we can uh, split the data frame into train and test samples. Let me run this and it should be able to split into 80% and 20%. So we have 1.2k train samples and 320 test samples. Let's see how to do modeling, pre-processing, etc. without pipelines. And you can watch my previous video as well. So first of all, what I'm doing is I'm using string indexer, which is used to label encode categorical features, right? So in string indexer, I am passing input column as alcohol and I want to get the output column as alcohol index. And this is similar to label encoder in scikit-learn. So I'm doing a dot fit and dot transform. And I am using vector assembler, which converts the input features into a vector. My input columns, I am passing a set of features and output column I want as features. 
and vector assembler dot transform i am transforming the set of columns into a feature vector and then i am selecting uh, two features which is features and quality in features we have the vector and quality is the target variable and i am showing it in a modeling df and then i am using decision tree classifier and i am specifying label column as quality and features column as features and you will get a model so at each step you are doing dot fit and dot transform right and then once you need predictions you will directly use dt model and transform on the modeling data frame which we got here this is how you will get the predictions on the train data frame. what if you want predictions on the test data set so you you have to use all the transformers and estimators that you have been using like alcohol indexer and you have to transform on the test data frame and then you have to pass this output to the vector assembler and similarly you have to pass the output of vector assembler to dt model to get the final test predictions right so in traditional way uh, you will do something like this right you will apply all the uh, estimators and transformers and then you will do dot fit and dot transform and if you want to transform on the test data you will use all of them and transform one by one right this is like a chain awesome but how can we make this whole process simple that is where pipelines come into picture let's see how we can do the same thing achieve the same thing using pipelines let me import pipeline from pyspark.ml let me run this and i am doing the same thing which i have done above so i am splitting the spark data frame into train data frame and test data frame let me run this and i am initializing the same string indexer vector assembler and decision tree classifier right let me run this but i am if you observe here i am not doing dot fit or dot transform right away let me show you how we can do this in a simpler way now i have the pipeline from spark.ml right so i will define the stages in which order i want to perform right first of all i want to take this spark underscore df and i want to perform alcohol indexer and then i want to use vector assembler and then i want to model on the output right using decision tree classifier so those are the transformers and the estimators i am mentioning in this particular order and this pipeline will take care of everything and then i am using pipeline.feed and i am passing train data frame which is the input raw data frame right what this pipeline.feed does is instead of doing manually it will do whole call indexer.fit and dt model.fit so that this is how it works alcohol indexer.fit and then alcohol indexer.transform you will get the output using dot transform you will get the output that output is passed to dt model and it will do dt model.fit right so this just one line with will, will does all the things that you have been doing manually once that is done you can directly use this final pipeline to transform on the test data frame which is the raw data frame and what it does is when you do dot transform it will do all call index dot transform and it passes the output to vector assembler and it will do vector assembler dot transform of the output that was uh, came from the all call indexer and the output from vector assembler is passed to dt model and this will give you the final predictions which is test predictions from pipeline let me run this you should get the test predictions awesome if you see here i think we have same features 5 5 5.1 right let's see the output so 667 these are the output predictions so for the same data points you should also get 667 awesome so even if you do manually or even if you use pipelines you are getting the same output you see how pipelines can help you to minimize your work and build efficient ml workflows awesome so you can reduce your manual work as well in addition to this uh, obviously i mean you will be working on different data sets right and the pre-processing may not be same for all the data set in those cases you can also create custom transformers and you can add as one of the stages which does uh, which transforms the raw data set into the uh, pre-processed data set and then you can apply these string indexer vector assembler etc that are already provided by spark.ml for you awesome that's the end of this video guys in this video we saw how to use spark ml pipelines to build efficient ml pipelines awesome Thank you guys that's the end of this video if you like this video please do like share and subscribe to my channel if you are on linkedin please tag me and share your thoughts on this video on the ongoing series getting started with PySpark hands-on and this will motivate me to make more videos guys thank you so much
meet you in the next video until then keep learning